Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Thanks. Do I have everybody's attention now? Do I have everybody's attention now? John, I got you. John, Do I have everybody's Sunday attention night. now? You put them cameras on me, then you must be willing To get that heart touch, this a must-see feeling The news ain't good, then it must be villain So I say it's tag grounded, I don't trust these ceilings Spread across your nose, and I'm on your air High as Max on the cloud, am I in the air? Sunday night's prime time, I flex my better of Ultron Transform to DX Don, Mega and Austin You probably think I'm nice, cause I slow like a stream To your wireless device, and the smoke full of steam on any given night, I'll show up like a piece of any given slice. Uh, and for the latest and what is best, Bob, I tune in and tune the rest out. Don, you gotta tell them, am I in the clear? Is this thing gone? Am I on the air? On the air. down everybody welcome to another brand new edition of am i on the air i'm your host don mega and welcome to the show we are broadcasting live right here from the red dragons radio studios here in tucson arizona it is sunday night july the 26th and this is season 11 episode 3 somebody killed this stupid thing um our big movie review of the night is going to be pixels and this, of course, is your one-stop shop to get you caught up in everything going down in the world of entertainment news. You know what it is by now. Um, hopefully, you checked out our last episode. It was a couple days late coming out, um, but it was chock full of good news. So I hope you checked out that last episode. It was called um, Baskin Robbins Always Finds Out, where we talked about Ant-Man and everything else. So definitely check out that episode if you would not had a chance yet uh, of course check out the latest red dragons assemble if you haven't checked that out either make sure you do myself kiki pat peeps listen to red dragons assemble it's episode five and you can check that out of course on red dragons radio.com all righty let's get right into it ladies and gentlemen it's going to probably be a little bit of a shorter episode because like I said that last episode I did on a Tuesday rather than our normal Sunday but I Wanted to get back into our normal Sunday night groove So that's why I'm back tonight To get us up to speed So it's not a full 7 days worth of news So we'll run on through it But like I said starting things off Is going to be our movie review of the week Which is Adam Sandler's new film Pixels Um, I was really looking forward to Pixels Um, I know a lot of people weren't Because for some reason Adam Sandler is on a lot of people's shit list uh, the guy gets no props anymore, no love from a lot of the, especially from the critics. I mean, critics have completely given up on Adam Sandler at this point. Um, but, you know, I'm going to vouch for the guy. I'm going to continue to sit here and be on his side and say, I don't get it. If you've been a fan of Adam Sandler from the beginning, I don't know where for people it took a left turn. Um, I guess some people just got tired of the shtick. Um, but for me, I'm a big Adam Sandler fan and I love pretty much everything the guy has put out. So I was looking forward to this. Of course, it's got my boy Kevin James in there with him. Um, you know, it's, uh, had Josh Gad, who I, I'm really starting to like that dude a lot. Um, and of course the beautiful Michelle Monaghan, uh, also, um, and I, uh, I went into it today. I actually saw it earlier today with Geeky Pat. And, you know, I had decent expectations for it. I wasn't expecting it to, like, blow my mind or anything. Um, but I was just hoping it'd be good and it'd be funny. And it was. <laughs> I mean, it, it gave me exactly what I wanted. And um, so I have no complaints. Of course, if you've seen the trailer, you know what it is. Basically, back in the 80s, we sent up a time capsule uh, trying to reach extraterrestrial life. And it basically included some, like our president and some old TV shows and 80s arcade video games. Uh, just saying like, hey, this is kind of like what our culture is about. And then now in 2015, we there's an alien invasion and they're mocking the 80s video games. Um, so therefore, of course, 
um, you got to pull out the big guns, which was the 80s video game champions. Uh, so that's where we, we meet up with Adam Sandler's character, who is like one of the best video gamers for, you know, Pac-Man and um, Galaga and Centipede and all that kind of stuff. Um, Josh Gad's character was another excellent video gamer, uh, hacker, conspiracy theorist. Like, um, I like the way they set up his character. Um, and then, of course, Michelle Monaghan works uh, for the government. Kevin James's character, who has been best friends with Adam Sandler's character since they were kids, he's actually the president of the United States in the movie. So that's how he kind of like loops in Adam Sandler and stuff when the invasion starts happening. And he's like, oh. If these are video games attacking us, I gotta get the best people that know how to deal with video games. Um, so that was really cool, and um, I just I I thought it was really really good. I mean, some of the really good parts you've seen in the trailer, but there were some other parts that they kind of mixed up a little bit and changed up. Um, but I thought it was a really fun ride. I saw it in 3D. I thought the 3D worked really well. It, it popped off very nice. Um, I thought everybody played their roles really well. Um, it wasn't as over the top slapsticky, um, gross out humor like some of the Sandler films have been in the last couple of years. Uh, this was just a good, you know, kind of comedy. I mean, more straightforward beat the video games. And, um, I really like what they did here. There was some really solid, good laughs in this thing. Um, you know, it's not a nonstop chuckle fest. I mean, it's not like a, you know, a 22 jump street or, a you know, spy or anything like that, but I really enjoyed it. I had fun with it, and that's what I would say. If you're an Adam Sandler fan and you enjoy most of the stuff he puts out, then I say go check it out, man. It's definitely worth a watch. I thought it was a very interesting concept, and I thought they pulled it off pretty well. So, uh, out of five stars, I give Pixels three out of five. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. I'll definitely probably buy this one on Blu ray and check it out again. Um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely say it's worth it. I mean, this is one of those ones where I'm trying to tell people don't listen to the critics, because of course the critics are just destroying this thing. It's it's rotten on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's just I, I just I don't get the hate. You know, it's how I feel like when Terminator Genesis came out. Like all the critics hated on Terminator Genesis months before the movie even came out. So of course when the movie came out, nobody liked it, and I feel that that's the case here. People kind of poo-pooed on this movie, you know, months ago, so now that the movie's officially out, they just continue to just poo-poo on it, and it sucks, because I don't, I think, I don't think Adam, Adam Sandler deserves the hate, and I don't think this movie is as bad as some people are making it out to be, um, like I said, if you're a fan of his, and you've enjoyed, you know, most of the movies he's put out, I don't see why you wouldn't enjoy this one, it's, it's, it's a, it's a fun ride, so Pixels, three out of five. Alrighty, let's get into our news of the week, and we're going to start off with some new trailers, uh, one being the brand new James Bond trailer for Spectre, uh, you know, we've had the teaser trailer already out, but this is the first full official length um, actual movie trailer for it, and I liked it, I mean, we get to see a lot more of uh, Batista, my boy Batista in there as the henchman, and um, we get to see Christoph Waltz and Daniel Craig, of course, and you know the the cool cars and some of the gadgets and and it was definitely looking like a very very good Bond movie. So check out that new Spectre trailer. We also have uh, the first official trailer for Mississippi Grind, which is a new movie starring Ryan Reynolds and Sienna Miller. Um, it's a gambling movie. I thought it looks pretty good as well too. The X Files has added Robbie Amell and Lauren Ambrose as new FBI agents for their X Files reboot. Of course, you know Robbie Amell um, from The Flash. He's a uh, Firestorm. I'm not sure who L Lauren Ambrose is, but they're coming to the new show. Roland Emmerich's uh, lesbian and gay um, rights drama Stonewall has been officially set for a September 25th release date. We have the first official Season 2 trailer for Fargo. Um, I was happy about this news. HBO has renewed The Brink for a second season. I really like The Brink. Uh, that's the new show with Tim Robbins and Jack Black. It's on HBO, and I really like it. I, I think it's a fun little half-hour, you know, political kind of co dark comedy. And I've been waiting to see if HBO is going to renew this one, so I'm very happy to, to report that it has been renewed. Um... 
there's a new show coming to CBS called Brain Dead, which is going to be a dramedy mocking Capitol Hill uh, that has been officially greenlit over in CBS. We have a brand new promo for Supergirl, um, so you can check that out and get a little bit more insight into the new Supergirl show. Uh, Lily Rabe is coming back to American Horror Story FX uh, over on FX, American Horror Story Hotel, the new season. She's going to be playing a serial killer on the new season. Ooh. Um, Arrow has added another character to the list Last week we talked about a bunch of casting news And it kind of continues into this week Arrow has added the villain Baron Blitzkrieg To its uh, new season Baron Blitzkrieg Um, Very interesting choice there of villains Um, But he's going to be playing by British actor Jimmy Akinbola uh, Who's from the shows Holy City and Sons of Liberty um, which, like I said, are British shows. So he's going to be Baron Blitzkrieg in the new season. So that's pretty cool. I like all the additions that we're coming up with here for Arrow and Flash. Uh, fan favorites of the X Files revival, the Lone Gunmen, are coming back to the X Files. They will be a part of the revival series. RuPaul's Drag Race is bringing back all your favorites for All Stars 2. Oh, yeah. Um, now I told you before that The Rock is going to be doing a movie based on the video game Rampage um, And news came out this week that the director of the film is going to be none other than the director of San Andreas Mr. Brad Payton So The Rock is bringing back somebody he really trusts, has good chemistry with I thought Brad Payton did an amazing job on San Andreas And I think I like when actors and directors kind of work together and they get to really know each other and so this makes me excited that they're going to team back up again so rampage movie moving along with the rock being directed by san andreas director brad payton simon kinberg you know him he's a producer and writer on x-men days of future past he's doing x-men apocalypse right now he just did the new fantastic four reboot he is set to write and produce the logan's run remake So they are redoing Logan's Run This has been a project that has bounced in and out of development For many many years now But it's kind of cool to see Simon Kinberg's name attached at this point So that's pretty tight We have the first promo for the animated Guardians of the Galaxy TV show That's coming out This is something that we've been talking about actually for the last couple years Since the movie was a hit They said they're going to do this cartoon show Well it's finally coming So we have the first official promo for the animated show We have the second trailer for Irrational Man starring Emma Stone and Joaquin Phoenix Let's see here If you missed it at the end of last week's show I got breaking news that Michael Chiklis is joining Gotham as a series regular He's going to be a new cop on the show so that's pretty tight Fox has renewed MasterChef for season 7 Which makes me very happy because I'm a big fan of MasterChef Big fan of anything Gordon Ramsay's behind So good to see MasterChef coming back for season 7 The Sci-Fi Channel has acquired the comic book adaptation Winona Earp I've never heard about this I'm sure our boy Friggins has heard about it Uh, Winona Earp coming to the Sci-Fi Channel Uh, Of course last week was the debut of Sharknado 3 Oh hell no Well it didn't take very long Before the Sci-Fi Channel came out And of course said that Sharknado 4 Has been greenlit And not only is Sharknado 4 coming But they're also going to make it interactive And you can vote On Tara Reid's fate You can choose whether she lives Whether she dies And I think there's going to be some other options on there too So Sharknado 4 is coming And you can vote on Tara Reid's fate Let's see We got an article up with Dr. Dre and Ice Cube Talking about Straight Outta Compton And everything that kind of went into making uh, That film In box office news um, Jurassic World has become The number three biggest movie Of all time It has bumped out the Avengers To become the second biggest film Or third biggest film of all time At the worldwide box office And even at the domestic box office Just here in the United States It also just passed the Avengers To become the number third movie here as well Amy Poehler and Ike Barinholtz Are going to be teaming up for a new basketball comedy Let's 
let's see here. We got another trailer. Uh, this one here is called Free Held. Uh, this is a true story movie with Julianne Moore, um, based on like it's like a lesbian rights type film. Uh, Steve Carell is also in it, and uh, you know it's a it's a true story and it's a pretty gripping trailer. So definitely check that out if you get a chance. On top of that, we also posted the new Red Band trailer for Vacation, the new Ed Helms, Christina Applegate comedy, which is, you know, a quasi-sequel to the Chevy Chase Vacation films where Ed Helms plays Rusty Griswold. Um, This Red Band trailer was hilarious as well. This movie hits theaters on Wednesday, so heads up, check it out. Um, We also finally got, in great anticipation, the second uh, trailer for the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 um, Some will call it the second trailer Some will call it the f- first official trailer Because the other was a teaser as well But this is the first official one It looks pretty damn good So it looks like they're going to go out with a bang Here on Mockingjay Part 2 We have everything wrong with Super Mario Brothers In 21 <laughs> minutes or less Because everything's wrong with Super Mario Brothers um, We got a new trailer for the movie Zipper uh, starring Patrick Wilson as a federal prosecutor with skeletons in his closet. Both Mad Max Fury Road and Pitch Perfect 2 are going to be hitting Blu ray and DVD in September. We have the first official cast photos of Lifetime Channel's Unauthorized 90210 and Melrose Place uh, movies that they're going to be putting out. Now, forgive me if I say her name wrong, but Shannon Sussaman. Who is uh, currently on Wayward Pines Which is finished Which, by the way, Wayward Pines was really, really good So if you didn't get a chance to check out that miniseries You should definitely check it out It's on Hulu Go go back and check it out It's only ten episodes it just finished last week But um, she was on that show And she was really great Very beautiful uh, she is gonna, She's joining Sleepy Hollow As a new series regular So she'll be coming to that So that's pretty cool Let's see here. Um, we heard that David Fincher was going to be making um, Strangers on a Train, and now it looks like that's been pushed back, and it might be quite some time before we actually get to see that movie. So that's a bummer. Um, Sparks will fly between Daredevil and Punisher in season two. So they're hinting at it once again that these two are going to be against each other. For a big portion of the second season Just like we kind of assumed We have the first official look at Charlie Hunnam In Knights of the Round Table King Arthur So he's doing that new King Arthur movie And they get the first photos there Of uh, him um, as King Arthur Also there's an article up with him as well Talking about the very painful decision To exit the Fifty Shades of Grey movie Because a lot of people forget that he was the original uh, guy casted to be um, Gray, to be Mr. Gray and um, But he bounced out They got Jamie Dorman um, But he says it was a really, really tough decision And one that he regrets a lot So, kind of crazy I thought that he was happy he left But it doesn't seem that way We have the first promo for Empire Season 2 Teases new money, new music, and new power Hashtag Empire Season 2 All Coming up on Fox um, Rise of the Tomb Raider is officially going to be coming to the PS4 and the PC in 2016 This was a game that when they originally announced it They said it was going to be an Xbox One exclusive Which then pissed off a lot of people And now it is confirmed it will not be an Xbox One exclusive And it will officially be hitting PS4 and the PC in 2016 We have a very cool behind the scenes video of Agent 47 Where they talk about the new film Which I'm looking forward to, comes out in August Netflix has cancelled Lilyhammer after three seasons I don't even know how it got three seasons I don't know anybody that watches this show Um, (laughs) Just saying Um, Brie Larson and Russell Crowe are in talks for Kong Skull Island uh, these are great additions right here I mean, can't go wrong with Russell Crowe And uh, Brie Larson's always great in everything that she does um, Of course, you know, we reported on it a couple weeks ago That Michael Keaton and J.K. Simmons, who were both in the film Had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts um, So, who knows if these roles have been rewritten for these two Or 
these are other roles I don't know but we do know that they're in negotiations to join this film uh, and I think Brie Larson's pretty much a done deal at this point um, and they're working on Russell Crowe but we'll see it's at least nice to get some um, additional word on Kong, Kong Skull Island uh, we do also know that Tom Hiddleston has already signed on and he is a part of this film Mark your calendars goes Homeland and The Affair both return to Showtime on October 4th uh, I'm excited about this I'm a big fan of both of these shows uh, especially The Affair this was a show that season 1 just blew me away became a real big show that me and my wife got into a lot and um, so I can't wait to see what they do here with the second season um, Brian Singer is teasing that X-Men and Fantastic Four crossover movie um, so he's not getting into too much detail But he says that the groundwork is being laid um, So we've heard the rumblings We've heard the rumors for a couple years now um, I think a lot of it's just going to rely on How well does the Fantastic Four reboot do Because if it bombs and nobody cares Then I don't think Fox is going to be pushing too hard To mix them up with the X-Men But if it's a big hit Then of course cro cross-pollinating The two brands is going to be a definite thing For them to want to do so we will wait and see on that um, But no shocker there uh, That that is something that they at least Have in their sights down the road So speaking of Josh Gad earlier uh, From Pixels He's got a TV show with Billy Crystal That debuted earlier this year on FX Called The Comedians Well unfortunately nobody found it very funny And the show got cancelled FX has cancelled The Comedians After just one season uh, that sucks because I thought that the show looked like it had potential I actually was gonna watch it I forgot to set the DVR when it debuted And then a couple people I know watched it And I asked for their feedback on it And everybody was just kind of like Eh, it's okay And it's okay isn't enough for me to add it to my list um, So I just kind of skipped it at that point And I'm glad I did because it is no more now And I'm glad I didn't have to get invested into something that's not going to be around anymore In some really big news And kind of no brainer news Since I just said that Jurassic World Is now the third biggest movie of all time It has been officially set That the Jurassic World sequel Is coming Yep there was no doubt this was happening Jurassic World um, sequel Has been officially set For June 22nd 2018 And Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard Are both locked to return for the film so very very cool um, I'm happy about it I figured that these two would be back I knew we'd be getting a sequel And the thing is is I'm reading so many articles And I've seen so many things where people are saying Where do you go Like where do you go after that movie There's no obvious direction of where they're going And that really leaves me scratching my head Because I saw many sequel potential in that in that film and I thought that they led us on a completely obvious direction I don't want to get into it because I don't want to spoil anything For like the two people in the world that haven't seen the film yet um, But there's several things that happen in the movie That totally leave the door open for a sequel So it really kind of blows my mind How many people are trying to say like There's nowhere to go Because I thought they opened the door pretty damn nicely For there to be something else So uh, we'll see on that But yes, it is officially set June 22nd, 2018 We have the first trailer for uh, Stars Channel Da Vinci's Demons show uh, Their trailer for, trailer for season 3 has been officially released uh, Ludacris is going to be having a guest spot on the next season of Empire I like this edition right here too Chloe Grace Moretz is looking like she's going to be joining Seth Rogen and Zac Efron in Neighbors 2 I don't really understand why we need a Neighbors 2 um, But since we are getting it I love Chloe Grace Moretz And I think that she's going to be a great addition to this cast I've heard a, I heard a rumor stating that it possibly might be a sor uh, sorority that moves in next door to them now Since they already had the frat house in the first movie They'll have the sorority now And Chloe Grace Moretz will be the head of the sorority That kind of gets into it with uh, Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne and stuff So if that's the case, I really like the sound of that Because I could, I could definitely see that going down So I'm curious to see what they do 
There's no shocker that a Neighbors 2 is coming Just because the first movie was made I think on like a 30 million dollar budget And the film made like 300 million worldwide So uh, it's a hilarious movie I love Neighbors So looking forward to number 2 And I'm glad that they added Chloe Grace Moretz We have the first promo for Gotham Season 2 Which they have subtitled Rise of the Villains Remember it debuts on Fox on Monday, September 21st Terrence Malick's new film uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Called Night of Cups Is going to be arriving in theaters next year in 2016 It was supposed to come out this year It got pushed back uh, Starring Christian Bale So that has been pushed back there We do have the trailer for that on our website Remember go to miontheair.com Click on that trailers tab and check them all out um, so on top of us saying that we had the new trailer for season three of Da Vinci's Demons over on Stars, Stars also came out a couple of days ago and announced that season three of Da Vinci's Demons will be the final season. So the show is being done away with. Uh, the star of Dallas uh, has been cast as uh, cast in the E Channel's new modern day twist on Cinderella. Um, do we really need this To be honest <laughs> A modern day twist on Cinderella On the E channel I don't know man um, So Dallas star Josh Henderson Has landed the male lead role And the show is called The Arrangement And he'll be playing Prince Charming Prince Charming <laughs> The story is being billed as a modern day Cinderella With a Hollywood twist As it follows a young actress who auditions for the female lead in a summer blockbuster movie to start opposite the hottest male actor of the moment, Kyle West, which will be played by Josh Henderson. After Megan's audition segues into a dreamlike first date, her situation takes a bizarre turn when she is presented with a contract that details the entire relationship with Kyle, forcing her to choose whether she will accept the arrangement. Cue the cards. Um, so... No female's been cast yet, just him Let's see um, Jerry Ryan Is going to be heading to the DC Universe So she will guest star on The Arrow Season 4 Angelina Jolie will direct And co-write a new Netflix film Based on Louis Long um, What's this guy's name um, Long Long Ong Um Actually, I, don't, I'm, I apologize that I said this guy's name because it's actually a chick. Um, but it's a <laughs> Lu, Lu Lung's um, memoir. So she's adapting that and it'll turn into a Netflix show. We have the brand new Maze Runner The Scorch Trials uh, trailer. And in, thank God in this one we don't have to hear uh, them talking about lasting one day out in the Scorch. Because uh, that last trailer drove me nuts. TNT has renewed Rizzoli and Isles for a shortened season 7 So that's coming back um, We got movement on another project starring The Rock We talked earlier about Rampage And how his um, San Andreas director is coming back for that Well, if you remember Because we haven't talked about this one in a while The Rock is doing a Baywatch movie <laughs> And it has now been announced That Seth Gordon, the director of Horrible Bosses is going to be directing The Rock in the Par- in Paramount Pictures Baywatch movie. I love this. I can't wait to see The Rock in a Baywatch movie. They're going to do this up 21 Jump Street style. It's going to be over the top, hilarious satire on Baywatch. They're not taking this thing seriously, and it's perfect. So slow motion running is coming, and I think Seth Gordon is a great director to put onto this project. So it's good to see these projects moving ahead. With some great people behind him Ridley Scott is going to direct The Cartel A brand new movie called The Cartel Based on the book of the same name And they are courting Leonardo DiCaprio To be the head star of the film Will Smith and Jay-Z are producing an HBO miniseries About Emmett Till Sons of Anarchy alum Michael Beach Is joining The 100 over in the CW in season 3 The View is looking to add Candace Cameron Burr and Paula Ferris to their new season. They, they they got such a rotating door going right now. I don't even know what else to talk about. 
Um, political thriller about the founding fathers has landed a USA Network pilot order. So they'll be putting that together over on USA. Billy Bob Thornton is going to be starring in David E. Kelly's Amazon legal drama. This is the one that um, Kevin Costner turned down. So give it to Billy Bob. <laughs> Um, we got an article up about Wayward Pines Like I said the finale just happened a couple nights ago They talk about the major deaths of the show Possible season 2 potential Check it out Because there was never supposed to be a season 2 It was a 10 episode miniseries And now We'll see There might be something else coming um, Let's see here Going through my notes We got another new trailer for We Are Your Friends This is trailer 2 Starring Zac Afron and Wes Bentley uh, We also have the trailer For the Avengers Age of Ultron Blu-ray So really cool Blu-ray coming out in October Looks awesome Unfortunately it's not a director's cut Like we hoped it would be Um We have the first official promo For the X-Files revival um, season 10 promo Being subtitled Ready So if you're a big X-Files fan You want to check out this first promo Of the upcoming new season Judy Greer is going to be guest starring On a future episode of Showtime Network's Masters of Sex Naomi Campbell is coming to American Horror Story FX In a very fitting role <laughs> uh, Garrett Dillahunt is joining John C. McGinley in a baseball story rounding third Furious Six's Joe Taslam Who is also in the Raid in the Raid 2 um, He is joining Star Trek Beyond So he's reuniting with his Furious Six director uh, Over there And um, I like it So this guy is amazing And I'm sure he'd be, he's going to be great in Star Trek uh, The brand new show The Player Starring Wesley Snipes over on NBC Has just added comedian Dustin Ybarra As a tech genius Named Donovan Lewis So that's pretty cool That'll, that'll probably be a pretty funny role for him um, Another show I almost got started with On Showtime and I'm glad I didn't Because they just cancelled it Is Happyish. Happyish has been cancelled by Showtime After just one season um, I didn't hear much about this show So I have nothing to really go off of on it The Gambit movie is reportedly Going to start filming in October And a brand new casting call Reveals some new details You can check that out, I won't spoil it for you Michael B. Jordan has set up his next role It's going to be in a new film called Just Mercy We have another trailer For Steve Jobs, The Man in the Machine Another documentary that's coming out and this is different than the um, Michael Fassbender one that's coming out here soon Tyrese is at it again about Green Lantern This time he's quoted as saying I would be the best Green Lantern And he's also confirmed that he has met with Warner Brothers For the reboot film So he has confirmed it that he has met with the studio But once again we've had no confirmation So we're just listening to Tyrese mumble jumble About being Jon Stewart in the Green Lantern again in some very sad TV news Which really bums me out One of my favorite shows on television right now Is Key and Peele I've been fans of these guys since they were on Mad TV um, I've been a fan of Every time they pop up in a movie I love Key and Peele And their show on Comedy Central I think is on it's 5th season right now And it's always been a ton of fun man. It's, just, it's the greatest sketch comedy show they just announced this weekend that this current season that they're on will be their last. It will fit, there's eight episodes left of the season, and after that, they are done. It is their decision to quit. Comedy Central has tried to keep them, tried to get them to come back for another season, and they just have so many other things on their plate. They're making movies, they're doing stuff individually, they're doing stuff together. Um, they have other projects in the works, and maybe another TV show in the works. Um, even possibly something at Comedy Central But right now they just can't continue to do Key and Peele So this will be the final season Really bums me out I love Key and Peele so much man So if you haven't seen it yet and you want a good laugh Check out those episodes on Comedy Central man They are so so funny They're going to be awesome though man they, These guys have a great great future ahead of them 
NBC has pushed back the premiere of the Carmichael show And instead they're gonna Since they pushed that back They're gonna double up on Mr. Robinson Mr. Robinson's that new Craig Robinson TV show That's finally coming out I feel like I've been talking about this show for like three years now They're finally gonna It's gonna finally debut in August And they're gonna be doing back to back double episodes Since they pushed back the Carmichael show Sandra Bullock's new film Crisis Has been given an October release date So that's pretty cool there Um, Kristen Schaal is joining J.K. Simmons in In his new indie comedy Called The Runaround We got a brand new picture up Of Empire Magazine Which is just awesome It's the new cover of Empire Magazine That has Batman and Superman on the front In a split kind of cover Uh, From from Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice It's a great picture We posted it on the Twitter and the Facebook page Check it, check it out Um, And lastly And just a little bit of sad news Just happened a couple hours ago Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston's daughter Bobby Christina Brown Has passed away at the age of 22 Um, You know She got into an accident Several months ago I mean it's probably been Six months maybe Um, She had been hospitalized Since January 31st When she was found unresponsive In her home's bathtub Just like her mom Very very eerie She was moved to a hospice care in June After months of deteriorating health Um, And then she passed away On July 26th Which is today Just earlier today Surrounded by her family uh, she's finally at peace in the arms of God The Houston family members said in a statement Sunday We want to again thank everyone for their tremendous amount of love And support during these last few months She was only 22 years old Super, super sad um, Bobby Brown said that, you know, his only peace Is knowing that she's, you know, up in heaven with her mom Whitney Houston So, um, kind of a somber note there to end the news And I'm sorry that it kind of capped off with that um, I hate talking about death on this show It happens too often um, Just like the movie theater shooting That went down this past Friday night um, There was a showing of Trainwreck um, And a guy got up 20 minutes into the movie And just started shooting people And two people died And six others went to the hospital And you know it's just kind of crazy Because that happened a couple years back When the Dark Knight um, Rises came out And that guy just literally Like last week got sent to prison for, And they're trying to push for the death sentence And then now here we are In 2015 and it just happened again And you know It just sucks uh, Especially when you ruin an experience Like just going to the movies You know like like When I, I go to the movies every week And it's just kind of weird to think Like I could sit down to watch a film And kind of escape for two hours And have somebody stand up and start shooting at you Like you're not safe just watching a movie So it's a little scary And um, you know death is scary And you know My condolences and my thoughts And prayers go out to You know the the family And the victims of the, the people that got shot At that movie theater To the whole you know Brown family Over Bobby Christina Um it's sad, man. I hate, I hate, like I said, I hate talking about death on here. This is breaking news. It just happened a couple hours ago. And that's where we kind of cap off. So, with that being said, let me switch it over to our release dates for the week. And we're going to actually wrap this baby up already. It's a nice little short half hour show this week. Um, on DVD and Blu ray on Tuesday is going to be the animated film Home. And The Water Diviner Which was Russell Crowe's directorial debut In theaters this week Actually on Wednesday, July 29th Will be Vacation Which I can't wait to see And on Friday is Mission Impossible Rogue Nation The fifth installment of the Mission Impossible franchise Super, super excited to see this I have nothing but great expectations for this one and here's your box office Coming in number 10 is Terminator Genesis with 2.4 million Number 9 is Mr. Holmes with 2.8 million Number 8 is Jurassic World with 6.9 million Number 7 is Inside Out with 7.4 million Number 6 is a debut, it's Paper Towns with 12.5 million 
Number five is another debut at Southpaw with sixteen point five million. Um, kind of sad I didn't get a chance to see Southpaw. I would have saw that this weekend too. I went to a concert on Friday night, which kind of ruined up the movie plans. So I do apologize. I hope to see Southpaw at some point here. But Southpaw makes a nice debut at number five with sixteen point five million. Number four is Trainwreck with seventeen point three million. Number three is Minions with twenty two point one million. And number two is Pixels. Um, Pixels debuts at number two with twenty four million. Just barely losing to the number one film for the second week in a row, and that's Ant Man. Ant Man brings in an estimated twenty four point eight million to hold on to that number one spot. This is another one of those box offices where they're super close. I mean twenty four point eight for Ant Man and twenty four even for Pixels. So this really could flip again when the official numbers come out tomorrow. So we'll see. Maybe Pixels will pull out a number one debut um, if you know it performed any better on Sunday. But we'll have to see. Well, you know, maybe Ant Man performed better on Sunday and it actually made twenty five million. Who knows? Uh, as of right now, Ant Man wins for the second week in a row. So we'll let you know if anything changes on that front. And that, my friends, here um, will do it for this episode of Am I on the Air. Take a look later this week um, We're going to be releasing a very special Am I Still on the Air Which I'm looking forward to doing um, It's going to be an Ant-Man spoiler review I've had several people hit me up saying You guys going to talk about Ant-Man And yes we are um, Ant-Man spoiler review is coming We're going to probably try to record that tomorrow night And maybe release it on Wednesday So keep an eye out for um, the Ant-Man Am I Still on the Air it will be a spoiler discussion I plan to have Geeky Pat Peeps, Friggins and We're going to have the whole team come on up And talk about Ant-Man And now that Marvel's whole Phase 2 is done And there's 12 movies out now Between Phase 1 and Phase 2 We're going to rank them down We're going to talk about where everything stands At this point for us In the two phases in the Marvel Cinematic Universe So Let you wait and see where I decided Ant-Man falls out of the 12 films in the Marvel's MCU So keep an eye out for a very special Am I Still on the Air Ant-Man spoiler review and MCU countdown Also like I said check out that Red Dragons Assemble if you haven't RedDragonsRadio.com our affiliates over there Follow them on Twitter at Red Dragons Radio Alrighty and for us um, it is Am I on the Air Am I on the Air.com is your hub It's where you want to bookmark It's where you want to go So you can listen to the show You can listen to those Am I Still on the Airs You can look at movie reviews You can look at the box office and release dates You can watch all the latest trailers You can find all our social networking um, links Check it out Am I on the Air.com You can like us on Facebook at facebook.com Slash Am I on the Air You can follow us on Twitter at Am I on the Air You can follow me on Twitter at DX Don Mega Yes, we are on iTunes, so please download, rate, subscribe, check us out on iTunes. If you don't have iTunes and you just want to use a streaming app on your mobile device or tablet, uh, Stitcher is the best way to go. Uh, We're also on TuneIn. You can listen to us on Spreaker as well. Uh, We are all over the interweb, so definitely just search for Am I on the Air. We're on YouTube, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash am I on the air. We're on Instagram, we're on Periscope, so definitely check us all out at am I on the air. Alrighty, my friends, it is Sunday night, July the 26th. It has been a nice little quick edition here of Am I on the Air. And until next time, my friends, I hope you have a great week, and we'll talk to you then. Peace! Red Dragons!